Um, my name is uh, Matt Cochran. I work for the Trade Desk. I'm the Director of Data Engineering. Um, the Trade Desk is an advertising technology platform. We represent the buyers in an ad exchange where uh, it, when impressions are sewn on digital media, we facilitate the, the transaction buying the, 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 the right impressions for our customers. The number of queries per second that come in are quite large in the millions. We get about you know, somewhere around 10 million queries a second to, uh, for us to evaluate and decide for our customers which ones are going to be the most effective for them. And we have to be able to transact those very quickly. So we need to, to analyze the, re, the, the, the what is on the bid request. We have to come up with a, with a good answer um, and then we have to respond all within milliseconds. Um, so the read side of our platform is, is incredibly important for us to, to maintain that scale. What that leads to is that leads to challenges where we have to optimize our storage so that it's ready for those requests. And even as we get millions of, of data points on, on, on various activity across the internet, we have to, to condense those into a usable format to, to be quickly read. We need to be able to store uh, most the, the most relevant data uh, to be quickly accessible in a hot cache. And so our real-time systems need to be optimized for those 10 million queries a second to be read quickly. We don't want to store the, the unused portions of data. And so what that leads to is a need for, for storing vast amounts of data on a, on a cold store and have that immediately accessible if we need it into the hot store. The hot store really services the, the, the need for our, our real-time requests, right? And the cold store services are need for longer-term storage. And so the interaction between the two needs to be uh, 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 designed a little separately because the use cases are a little bit different. We've always used Aerospike for our hot store, um, and that's been a, a, a very stable platform, but we also need to, to make sure that we have a vast uh, pool of data that's accessible in our cold store. Our initial attempt was to use it to, to, to try Cassandra to, for using that. Um, but the data structures we were using in Cassandra to get the high write throughput that we needed um, weren't, as, uh, weren't as effective for some of the read cases that we had. The biggest challenge with Cassandra was the, the need for a, a high ratio of CPU to data. In order to do the, the level of writes we needed to do, we had to use compression, we had to use, uh, 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 there was a lot of uh, tombstoning, there was a lot of um, CPU utilization needed relative to the size of the data that we were working on. And so in order to, to get to the throughput that we needed, we need to scale the number of, of machines to a high number of machines with a lot of CPU compared to the disk that they had. But Aerospike gave us another uh, alternative approach using a more record-based model, right? So where all of the data that we needed to do was put onto one record in Aerospike. And so while there is uh, block tombstoning and, and, and and uh, repartitioning going on, it is not nearly as CPU, CPU intensive to write the same amount of data at, onto one single record. And the, the fact is we have one record then that we can then use for other use cases uh, besides just the one that we were working on in Cassandra. I like Aerospike's uh, concept of their data storage. It gives us a lot of flexibility in, in how we approach organizing our data, how we approach uh, uh, using our data in different ways. We can use one key to represent many different dimensions and we can get back just the data we need for a given use case. So from an application point of view, it's very flexible. It's been very uh, uh, convenient to use in, in a lot of ways. And it also suggests new ideas to us too. I look at Aerospike as one of our chief technology partners.